My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me. Jesus, we want to spend this time with you, talking to you. And I'm reminded of, of a story about somebody. Let's, let's call her Julie. It's not her real name, but for the sake of the story, that's the name we'll give her. And she had she had a friend and julie invited her friend to come pray with her in a church one day they were together they were running errands together and um and julie explained that she had the custom of stopping by to visit jesus in the blessed sacrament reserved in the tabernacle each day you know, just for a few minutes and uh, to spend a few minutes in prayer. And so she was with this friend of hers, and uh, and her friend said, yeah, sure. And as they were going in, Julie said something along the lines of, he's been waiting for you for 2,000 years. And that sparked something in Julie's friend. It, it helped jumpstart her prayer life, which at that point, was non-existent this this idea this reality that jesus is waiting for her that jesus is waiting for me and for you um that really opened her eyes again to what the faith is all about it's all about well it's all about the title of these meditations right 10 minutes with jesus and not just 10 minutes our whole life our whole life with jesus and so that brief moment in which Julie invited her friend to make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament with her, this, this, this little phrase, you know, he's, he's been waiting for you, it helped her a lot, jump-started her prayer life, helped her get back to the sacraments, it, it helped her grow. And it all started with a simple invitation to make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament. And we could ask the hypothetical question, what if Julie had not done the visit that day? What if she had thought, well, I'll do the visit some other time when I'm not with my friend? What if she gave into being worried about what her friend might think? You know, or how she might look? Um... She could have given into a number of those thoughts, thoughts that maybe you and I have given into. I certainly have in moments of my life. And in this time of prayer, I can say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for giving into those human respects or giving into fear of embarrassment or what others might think. Help me, help me do better next time, you know, the very next opportunity I have. So in this story, Julie is an example of living out her faith in a very ordinary way. And how it helped her friend. It helped her friend a lot. You know, it was nothing extraordinary. Just a simple visit to Jesus, who is our best friend. And she brought another friend of hers along. So Jesus, in your life, when you started to have more of a public presence, you know, with with your teaching and... Um, with your miracles, well, you surrounded yourself by a close group of followers, the apostles. And Jesus taught these apostles. He formed them. He gave them special authority to teach. He gave them authority to forgive sins, to celebrate the Eucharist. Um, we read about Jesus calling uh, Simon, who will later be called Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James, and his brother John. He calls them to follow him. And these four guys, they were fishermen. 
and they leave their job to give to give their lives for Jesus, to follow Jesus, to be with him all the time. And Jesus, when he invites them to go with him, he's going to say something that's very interesting. He's going to say, come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. In English, this works very well, right? Not fishermen, but fishers of men. And later... Um, he will say in a way in which, well, at least it helps us understand it more. Perhaps it helped the apostles also understand it more. Where Jesus kind of gives them that command. You know, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go and make disciples of all nations. The good news, the good news that God made man, that Jesus Christ is our Savior, who loves us, who forgives us. The good news of Jesus Christ himself is meant to be shared. It's not meant to be kept for ourselves. So to be fishers of other people, right, is not to catch them in the sense of trapping them or forcing them into captivity. No, it's to attract them to Christ. Well, it's to let Christ attract them through us, you know. It's a work of attraction that takes place, that occurs through our lives, through our example, through our conversation. In the case of Julie's story at the beginning of this meditation, her example and a simple invitation. So the goal of a Christian is to be friends with Jesus and to help others do the same. These meditations are all about spending quality time with Jesus, to talk to Him, to get to know Him. These meditations are not meant to be motivational speaking. Well, well, they can be motivational, but that's not the that's not the main point. The main point is not to be motivational speaking or motivational speeches, or in order to help us feel good about ourselves. You know, they can, of course, but but the motive well it's right there in the title 10 minutes with jesus to talk to him jesus we want to talk to you hopefully what we've talked about with regards to the story about truly the things that you said lord to your apostles helps me be face to face to you and realize you're inviting me also to be a fisher of other people so hopefully we are encountering jesus whether it's through these meditations through our own you know, a prayer on our own, hopefully that is happening. Thanks to the work of the Holy Spirit, thanks to our own individual cooperation with that grace that we receive. And if it is happening, then we'll discover that that time with Jesus, that getting to know Him and, and wanting to do His will, we'll see that this is a great good. It's an awesome good. And it's a good that is not meant to be just for ourselves, right? Jesus wants to be shared. He wants to have that encounter, that friendship with every person. And he wants us, he wants me and you to help him do that. That's what's so amazing about being a Christian, is that you and I are placed right into the whole plan of, of saving souls, of saving people, of helping people get to know God. It's not meant to be just kept for ourselves at all right he is not meant to be just kept for ourselves lord you want to get to know me and you want others to get to know you through me let's think about it someone right in my life for sure and probably in your life too someone has probably played the role of of a fisher of men and women in your life you know just like in the story of julie somehow with it something like that person said um, encouragement that that person gave you, a correction, perhaps, um, the example of their life. Maybe they sent you a link or a YouTube video, you know. Maybe it was an invitation to return to confession. Maybe it was an invitation to, to listen to 10 minutes with Jesus. Whatever it was, we can tell our Lord Jesus, thank you for that person. Thank you for working through that person. That person is probably oblivious to what they did maybe it, it depends but oftentimes that happens right we don't 
Jesus is using us to help others and we don't even realize it. But we got to be close to our Lord. We need to be friends with Jesus to give him the opportunity or a greater opportunity to help others through us. But Jesus, we thank you for those who have helped us in one way or another, who have helped us with their prayer. And, um, and Lord, I also, each one of us talking to you now, Lord, we want to be that instrument in your hands to help others, to, to help others find you. So Jesus, I don't want to hide my friendship with you. Help me live it out wherever I am. And grant me the desire to invite others to discover this friendship with you. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.